Let's start by defining murder, right? It's premeditated, right? Sure. There's intent to kill. Unjustified, so like the person's not like pointing a gun at you or anything like that. So premeditated, mm -hmm. unjustified, taking an innocent human life. Abortion is premeditated, right? There's an intent to kill. Yeah. Unjustified, child in the womb did nothing wrong, nothing deserving of the death penalty, not in self-defense or anything like that. So it's premeditated, unjustified, taking an innocent human life, therefore murder. I disagree with you there. How so? What part like of the definition do you not think fits? Abortion? I don't think that the unjustified part fits. I don't think so, that... You're right. I think the child is, is inherently innocent in a way, but if a woman does not want to go through, I'd like to start off by saying, I think that childbirth is a trauma. Well, I would say, I'd say this, um, many people will say like pregnancy is like dangerous or something. I'd mm -hmm. say pregnancy is not very dangerous. And to give some stats to back that up, the maternal mortality rate in the state of California is 10, right? So 10 deaths of like women who are pregnant out of 100,000. Mm -hmm. If we take a look at your chances of dying, if you're driving in the state of Mississippi, it's 26 out of 100,000. So it's more dangerous to drive in Mississippi than be pregnant in California and to give Michigan stats because that's the state we're in. Mm -hmm. Michigan's maternal mortality death rate is 19 out of 100,000. So more dangerous to drive in Mississippi than be pregnant in Michigan. I'm not saying that childbirth will always cause know, death. But you said okay. it was like trauma. I was just pointing yes. out in terms of like, you know, medical definition of trauma, not like, you know, mental trauma, things like that. Mm -hmm. uh, no, I'm talking about medical trauma, not not death trauma. Mm -hmm. It does cause a permanent, it does a par permanent impact on the body that is irreversible and does cause a lot, like. But why does it justify killing a child? I'm getting to that. Okay. I forgot that that was where I was going. My apologies. Yeah, I'd like to start off by saying that I think that childbirth is a it is a physical trauma and under certain circumstances it can certainly be a mental trauma too and because of that i think it is within a woman's right to uh, use abortion as self-defense to prevent them from going through with that trauma so real quick self-defense right let's yep. say that someone's like you know harassing me telling me mean things it's gonna cause me mental trauma let's even say that they're like continually like you know hitting me like in the arm right but not enough to where like it's it's gonna kill me and not enough to where i could like legally like you know shoot them mm -hmm. right okay that's kind of the situation with child in the womb and like childbirth right sure the traumas hang on let me finish so like okay. sure there may be some mental trauma there may be some physical changes in the body right i may have like bruising on my arm things like that but ultimately that doesn't mean i can shoot that person so you mentioned self-defense right mm -hmm. the child's not going to kill the mother so she can't kill the child that's not how, like, that's not self-defense. And abortion, I would point out, is never medically necessary as treatment. It's true. That's just true. Have you ever heard of an eptopic, eptopic yeah. treatment, pregnancy? Tre treatment for ectopic pregnancy is not considered abortions. That's just fact. Okay. Abortion is an option for women. It shouldn't be, is my point. <clears throat> it's murder. Okay. I, I disagree with you. Yeah, but why? Like, why is it okay to murder children in the womb? I fundamentally disagree with everything you just said. Yeah, but nothing about, I said was incorrect, like scientifically or biologically, morally. So like, why you, is it, what, just tell me, why is it okay for like a woman to kill her child because she doesn't want it? Who is going to take care of that child otherwise? Well, she could put the child up for adoption, so adoptive parents could. I'd point out, even if she, even if there were no adoptive parents, I think parents are morally obligated to provide a safe and healthy environment for their child to develop inside of. For example, right, a woman has a one-week-old child, she can't like starve the kid or like leave the kid in the closet. That's neglect. She'd get charged with homicide. Mm -hmm. And I think that that's right. Would you agree that like a woman who like leaves her kid in the closet doesn't feed the kid, like that's homicide, like that's murder? Mm -hmm. Okay. So well, I think it's not homicide unless it kills the kid, dude. Okay, so yeah, it kills the kid, right? She starves the kid to death, yes. puts it in the closet. Okay, so that's homicide, right? Because parents have a moral obligation to provide a safe and healthy environment for the child to develop in. Same thing if she like throws the for kid a like a snow. For a wanted child. Oh, so children are only valuable if they're wanted? And it's okay? Yeah, like, actually. So if, she, so if she doesn't want the kid and she puts the kid in the closet, the born kid, it's not murder? No, but she shouldn't have had that kid in the wait, first wait, place. Wait, so you don't think that's murder? If she like leaves a one week old that, child. Listen, please don't interrupt me. Yeah. Thank you. That woman should not have had the child in the first place. Mm -hmm. But she did now. Okay. Then she should get rid of that child. How so? I would say, like, put it up for adoption, not kill it. You think it's okay if she kills it? I think that child has already been in existence for a very long time. I think that kid has already developed. And that kid is no longer inside the, the mother. That kid is no longer a clump of cells that is causing the woman immediate clump danger. Clump of cells of human species, right? It's human. So are tumors. Yeah, but they're of the same DNA of the mother, right? If we take so a look are at tumors. It, once again, I'm talking about the child. Child's different DNA than the mother. Child's not the mother. Child's its own unique human being. Can't okay. kill. Can't kill innocent human beings. Mm -hmm. 
you can get rid of a tumor that is going to cause you trauma. Yeah, but though. child's not a tumor. Child's different DNA from the mother. It's not the mother. It's its own unique human being, mm -hmm. not the mother. Viruses don't share human DNA. The child in the womb is not a virus. I'd call it a disease. How's it a disease? Right. It's by definition, not a disease. It's offspring. Mm -hmm. Also not a parasite because it's offspring. Well, Par parasites can't be offspring or the same species as the host. Child's both. Okay. If we're going off of the technical definition well, I, of... Let, okay, go ahead. Thank you. If we are going off of the common definition of a parasite, which is something that sucks the life out of or takes advantage of another creature, then yes, that's off, not, listen. That's not the common definition, though. We need to go by the biological definition because it's a biological term. Okay. I'm going by the common definition of people who just... But that's not the common definition. You can Google it right now. A parasite can't be of the same species of the host and it can't be related to the host. It's not a parasite. Okay. It still acts as, it still performs the same functions as a parasite. Let me ask you this. One week old born child requires resources from the mother. One she what? A one week old born child, so yes. like, yeah, right? Requires resources from the mother. Mm -hmm. Still not a parasite, right? No, it is. A not a parasite. Once the again, difference between a parasite and offspring is same intent. Same species as host. No, so a parasite can't be offspring, can't be same species as host. Intent not doesn't matter because once again, child appearing same species, as a parasite. Once again, acting not a as a parasite. I'm not it's saying still not it is acting as one. Can real quick though, can you just give me a justification for why it's okay to kill children in the womb? Like, let's get back to that because that's. Like, I don't really think it counts name. as a kid in the womb. Well, when we say my mother's pregnant, right? We say she's with child. So that's child in Most the womb. Most abortions take place in the first or second trimester. Yeah, but it's still child because it's her offspring. Mm -hmm. So it's still child in the womb. Why is it okay to kill a child earlier, but not like later when they're born? Like, why is it okay to kill at one point, but not the other? I say it's not okay to kill at any of the points. Okay. Because it's an innocent child. I think you're perfectly entitled to that opinion. And I think that you are perfectly justified in that opinion. Yeah, so why would you not hold that opinion? Because that's the moral opinion, right? Otherwise you're, otherwise you're killing innocent human beings, which is wrong, it's murder. Mm -hmm. I don't think that when it is inside the mother and it, it will cause harm to the mother. When it is, when, uh, 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 uh. Childbirth causes harm and trauma. Yeah, but like, Do we agree well, on this? Sure, but like the point where like someone's like, you know, repeatedly punching me, right? I can't shoot them. Mother can't kill the child. If someone's outside your body, there are other ways to deter them or get rid of them. And the, child, and the child in the womb, you don't have to kill them for them to come out of you. You don't have to kill them. You can get a C-section, child lives, go through labor. Again, child most lives. abortions take place first and second trimester. If yeah, you have, why is that justified? If you have a third trimester baby, it is because you want that baby. If an abortion needs to take place at that point in time, it is because the, it is because the mother and the baby- are never medically necessary. Never medically necessary. Third hey, hang, on. I'm saying let, if, let, hang on, let me quick explain like third trimester abortions. It takes two to three days, okay? Mm -hmm. If there's complications, you don't wanna wait two to three days. You should do an emergency C-section, takes one hour, mother lives, child lives. Never wanna do an abortion in the third trimester. If someone's doing that, they're doing harm to both the mother and the child. They're murdering the child and they're putting the mother at more risk because it takes longer. So I just wanna quickly address that. But okay. I don't know, nor care about third trimester abortions. So are you actually. against third trimester abortions? Yeah. Okay, so your line is like what, 10 to 12 weeks? I, my line is whether the child is wanted or not. Wanted or not? Mm -hmm. So should we kill like orphans who don't have parents who want them? No, we should make the abortion, not the abortion, my apologies, the adoption system more accessible. But we shouldn't kill them. No, because they're already outside the womb. They can't okay, cause so any harm to the mother. Okay, so now you're at nine months. Now you're at not 10 to 12 weeks. Now you're at nine months. Or, or unless you're like wantedness still. Like if, if, you're, if we're killing children who aren't wanted, well then no. we should be killing orphans outside the womb. Because then the metric's like not wantedness anymore. No, the metric is not wantedness and the ability to cause harm as it is coming out of the mother's but we, uterus. Well, we've, just real quick, we've already covered like the harm thing, right? I can't shoot someone who's like, you know, hitting someone the outside your body can be restrained in other ways. Well, the child in the womb, Right, it's gotta come out somehow. There's no reason to kill it before it comes out. If you can find a way to get every single woman who needs an abortion, if you can find a mother who is willing to get that baby transferred into her womb, I'm assuming that's what you want for first and second trimester, yes? No, like no, because if we transfer the womb, child will probably die in the process. So no, definitely don't do that. Mother who has a child in her womb should, you know, provide a safe and healthy environment. Shouldn't take like Accutane or other drugs that can cause like, you know, fetal abnorm abnormalities. Like that'd be really bad. I'm against that. I, you know, say a mother like takes like crack and it like kills a kid in the womb, murder charges for sure. So yeah, like, you know, mother who has a child in the womb, say like it's, she doesn't want it, first of all. Like, that's like horrible. She should want like her child because, you know, children are valuable. But even if she doesn't want the child, she should at no point kill the child because that's murder. So what is your recommendation for women in the first and second trimester mm -hmm. who need an abortion? 
why do they need an abortion? Abortion's never medically necessary. They're trying to just murder their kid. They should not murder their kid. I would provide support. I'd say, Fine. hey. Fine, women who want abortion, if you're going to argue that point. So women who want an abortion? Yeah, yes. I'd say, well, for one, I want to criminalize abortion as murder, so that shouldn't even be an option. But say they want an abortion, right? I would say, um, don't kill your child. You can give it up for adoption. There are 36 waiting adoptive families for every one child that goes up for adoption. A mother who wants to give her child up in domestic infant adoption will actually get a bunch of books of like families that she can give the child to, and she gets to choose the exact family she wants to give the child to. So I'd say, you know, if she doesn't want her child, she should probably look at the adoption process, probably pick, you know, of the lot of families that she's getting these books from, like which family she wants to give the child to, place the child in a, a loving home. I think that that's, you know, a beautiful thing. You got parents who want a child. You got a mother who doesn't want a child. You give the, the child from the person who doesn't want to the person who does want it. Let's say there's no adoptive families available though. Still shouldn't kill the kid because that's murder. Where does the kid go? Where does the kid go? Well, I'd say ultimately parents are responsible for providing a safe and healthy environment for the, for the child to develop. And we already agreed on that with like the born kids. Like she has a kid. Well, now she's responsible for providing for that kid. If she fails to do that, also homicide if she like starves a kid to death. Yeah. I mean, so, are we putting the kids up for adoption? Are we kidding? Well, I mean, if a mother like, you know, is gonna like starve the kid to death, yeah, she should give the kid up for adoption, yeah. What is your recommendation for women in the first and second trimester yeah. who don't want to give birth or have a medical surgery operated on them? Oh, well, don't kill the kid, so they're gonna have to give birth or have a C-section, yeah, because they can't kill the kid, that's murder. That's where we disagree then. Well, you're just saying it's okay to murder if I don't want to give birth or have a C-section. I'm saying no, mm -hmm. because you know, that is murder. Mm -hmm. So your justification for murder is like, scar on my stomach and i'm like no can't murder even if you're going to have like a scar on your stomach because parents are morally obligated to provide a safe and healthy environment for their child to develop in. and a scar on the stomach in no way would justify taking an innocent life we inherently disagree then on, then what, on whether yeah. it's murder so then we're not well not not on whether it's yeah well, no i okay. disagree that it's murder in the womb okay well then i don't think we're gonna make progress but i appreciate no, we you won't. sitting down mm -hmm. have a good day you too